You're going to a very dangerous place, so be careful. The thing that slumbers there, it is not human. and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, this is totally not my usual type of video, but this is a Halloween special. If you're part of the OGs from way back when, you will know that I'm kind of obsessed with SFX makeup. I just haven't had the time to do it. Today, however, I'm going to be delving into an SFX makeup tutorial, as well as showcasing my very first attempt at prosthetics. And of course, I'm going to show you the behind the scenes of how I made them. But what is a tutorial without a story? So I'm going to be doing all of this whilst telling you about the origin of the Pale Man, the creature from Pan's Labyrinth that I'm going to be transforming into. So without further ado, enough of the chit chat, let's get into it. The biggest origin and inspiration for the Pale Man is the Japanese legend of Tonomi. Tonomi translated literally means eyes on hands. The myth and legend has existed for centuries in Japan. Here's how it goes. Once, very many years ago, there was a blind old man. One day, on his way home after dark, he was attacked by robbers. They beat him viciously and left him to die alone in a field. As he lay dying, he cried out in anger to the sky. If only I had seen their faces, but my eyes cannot see. If only I had eyes on the palms of my hands. As it is often told, those who pass on with unfinished business are often held in limbo or returned as ghosts or spirits, as was the case with this old man. But because he was in such agony and felt such rage at the time of his passing, his spirit returned as a vengeful apparition with eyes placed within his palms. Although now having eyes, he was blinded by rage. Not knowing whom his attackers were, as he never saw their faces, anyone who dared to cross paths with him would soon meet an unfortunate end. One night in Japan, a young boy was walking with his friends when they dared him to walk into the graveyard to test how courageous he was. He agreed and began to walk through the cemetery, feeling quite brave. That all changed in a matter of moments though, as he saw the old man emerge from the darkness with eyes on his hands. Terrified, he abandoned his mission and rushed to the nearby church for help. The priest at the church instructed the boy to hide in a chest, as he too ran off to hide. He was well aware of the legend of Tonomi. In the hours that followed, he heard a constant slurping, but was too terrified to leave his hiding spot. The next morning, the priest went to go and check on the boy. As he opened the chest, all that remained inside was the loose skin of what used to be the little boy. So, how does this truly apply to the Pale Man from Pan's Labyrinth? Well, the Pale Man himself was inspired by many different aspects and folklores, but physically he bears much resemblance to the illustrations of Tonomi. Also, like Tonomi, the Pale Man attacks any unfortunate souls who cross his path. His body resembles a pale old man. He has visible nostrils and a mouth similar to those of a manta ray. His eyes can be placed in the sockets of his hands rather than the face. Within the movie itself, by looking at the paintings that are showcased when we meet the Pale Man in Pan's Labyrinth, it is clear that he devours children. This is further illustrated by the tall pile of worn children's shoes under the painting. Writer and director of Pan's Labyrinth, Guillermo del Toro, flat out stated through a tweet from 2017 that the Pale Man represents institutional evil feeding on the helpless. Whatever the case may be, I would not want to stumble upon Tonomi or the Pale Man during an evening out. 